Hey everybody, so today I have this nice MacBook Air 81466 2017 and it's in here for repair. There's no image, but more specific, there's no backlight. So you'll turn it on and oh, there's a um, battery unplugged here. I know we took a look at this already. Let me see. Yeah, so we already have it plugged in. You can kind of see it's really faint. I'll put actually a flashlight up to it. And so if I go ahead and shine a flashlight to it, you can see that. That's on the other side here. And there's a backlight problem with this. That's usually what this is for. The backlight actually shines. This isn't some magic or anything. It's just, it's really cool how the older models had this, that um, they will shine through and the backlight actually gives an illuminated image. That's what the backlight driver does for it. So there's an image that we can clearly see through through it, but uh, the power isn't actually going on. So the power isn't going through the backlight driver and there's having an issue. This could be a lot of different things. We made videos about this before on the channel. Usually there's a backlight IC chip that does go bad. So we're gonna go ahead and remove it to see if we see any liquid spills and really just go from there. So we took this out and we do see a lot of damage here. You can see this is a lot of liquid spill damage. This is close to the SMC. Well, actually, this is the <laughs> SMC. And there's also some liquid damage here. Um, it looks a little bit strange. Maybe it's possibly been cleaned before. Um, it doesn't look exactly like super fresh. But our biggest worry, obviously, because this is kind of working. Uh, we already know that the machine is powering on, it's charging, it's doing those things. This is your backlight I see. And this is kind of what we're worried about as well. So we're looking under here, and we can see there's a bit of damage here. It looks like that this, there might be some like burn here. See that? It's really dirty and really dusty. It's not very good uh, to be having something like that. Even the board looks a bit gone there. So we do have a problem. Obviously, the traces are a little bit damaged here too. So, so what we need to do is we need to remove our old backlight IC. We're going to need to put in a new one. But before we put in the new one, we need to what? We need to fix that trace, that little burnt trace that's been in the corner there. So we're going to remove this IC here and we need to expose all the balls this is a ball grid array so it's called a bga for that reason and there's lots of traces that go underneath here um, we need to do a cleanup for this we can use our our copper wire to actually clean up everything here we're gonna use some flux we're gonna use a hot iron we're gonna make sure this is nice and clean and we need to rebuild that trace in the bottom or at least expose it enough to a point where it can make a very solid connection so we're gonna keep doing a little cleanup here we're gonna obviously keep using our copper and as well as you apply a hot iron to it, what that's going to do is that's going to remove all the dirt, debris, um, any type of liquid spill, anything else that's there. And we can rebuild a lot of the traces here just to make sure there's going to be nice. So when we put in our new backlight IC, it's going to be new, fresh, and clean. It's going to make a good contact. So that's really important to do for anything like this because it has to make good, good contact. And if there's a problem with it, there's any extra debris or anything, it might work for a little bit, but we don't want the customer coming back. So we want to make sure this is all cleaned up and absolutely perfect as, as we can go as well. So we can see that the, the bottom right one has been rebuilt. It's gonna be at least enough to make a solid connection there. So we can go ahead and we can put on our new backlight IC. So we're gonna go put that on and now we're gonna go ahead and clean up and then we can go ahead and test it and let's go ahead and see if it works. Okay, so we're back from the repair and we're also back from the ultrasonic um, because you saw the SMC area um, that was also impacted. There was a bunch of liquid around there. We don't want to have that going out of our store uh, with the clients using the laptop like that because there can always be issues even though it's still turning on we always want to make sure that's fine so ultrasonic will take care of that and we also did obviously the fix which is the major fix which is for the backlight so now we want to go ahead and test it let's go see if it's going to work uh, since there's no hard drive installed i've just plugged in just enough just to make sure we can at least test it and if there's any problems we can go back to the drawing board which we never like to do so let's go ahead i'm going to hold the option key because there's no hard drive in and we should hopefully get to a boot menu and get a back oh i see the backlight here it's a little bit purple and there's your apple logo with a nice backlight shining through so looks to be pretty good uh we'll definitely test a little bit more make sure everything else is great and uh if everything looks good from there we'll give the client a call for pickup well hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on doing the backlight repair on the a1466 2017 macbook with a liquid spill if you did find this video informative and you want to actually spread the word and let other people know about the work that we do uh, we have lots of cool work actually on this channel we do lots of like liquid spill repairs we do data recoveries lots of cool things especially with mac we do software talks we show how to install if there's any problems doing installations we do it as a typical repair shop would actually show that we do that uh, please we love to actually spread the word the best way for to spread the word is if you could just hit that like button because it really does help the youtube al algorithm it really helps promote our channel and our videos to show other people how to fix things and just spread the, the word spread the love and everyone else smooth that curse there just hit that like it really does help us a lot if you did also you could subscribe if you ever had a liquid spill or a macbook with any trouble trouble 
um, let us know. We're actually really curious to, or even to see what type of MacBook you guys have that you guys like. Do you guys still use this model? Does anyone still have the 2017? The older ones that aren't the retina displays? Just leave a comment down below. We'd love to actually chat, chit chat down there and see what you guys have. It's a nice look me we have going. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching. Take care. See you guys next video. Bye.